What is up? RJC MTV here. Today we're checking out the brand new Pivot Trail 429. Let's do this. So Chris from Pivot hit me up and said, hey man, got this new bike dropping next month. Wonder if, wondering if you wanna jump on the bike, test ride it for the week and um, come on in and give us your thoughts on it. So obviously I jumped at the chance and, and um, I've been wanting this bike for the last 12 months for sure. Like it's, it's, I knew that this style of bike was suited to the type of riding that I do. And um, I hadn't ridden the Trail 429, the existing one, uh, but I'd spent the best part of two years riding a very similar bike, DW Link 120, 130, um, 29er. So I knew what these types of bikes were all about. And um, I, I was pretty excited to jump on, on the existing one and to have the opportunity to jump on this brand new one. Um, yeah, it didn't take too much uh, convincing to do so. Cosmetic changes straight away. You see that the shocks move to the trunnion mount shock. It lowers the standover height, opens the frame up to your water bottle, your tube, uh, the pivot dock tool, which is amazing. I use that multiple times uh, out on the trail, getting things dialed in, just turn it straight out, tool comes out, pop it back in and it's completely silent. Um, big fan of that where it's mounted up under the top tube there. Uh, so yeah, straight off the bat you see there's some changes to the bike. I don't know the specific geometry changes. <clears throat> that seems to be a bit of a secret, but um, I suspect that it's a slightly longer bike, slightly slacker, um, slightly steeper uh, seed tubes. That's where everyone's going uh, these days, so uh, that's that's where I suspect that this bike is also headed. And um, as I said, I haven't ridden the, ex the current Trail 429, uh, but I have the Mark IV SL with 12 months uh, experience on that. And I've ridden the Switchblade as well. So I, um, I have a good comparison of the bikes at either end of this. And um, I feel like this one pushes up into the Switchblade uh, territory uh, a lot more. Parking lot test, jumped on the bike, felt like maybe it got a little bit longer in the top tube. Uh, all bikes are moving in that direction. Same short chain stays, uh, playful bike. And uh, the first thing I noticed on the Trail 429 was how efficient it was. Uh, support even that DW Link platform and, and how quick it accelerated off the mark. Basically all the power straight down to the wheel, no pedal bob. Um, you know that it's a super efficient bike and for XC style riding, um, I knew this bike was going to be strong in that area, uh, being a short travel trail bike, um, but where it really surprised me and where it really stood out was where it is when descending. I love this tyre setup too. Chris is going with the dissector front and rear. I believe they're 2.4s. So. Not much rolling resistance, which is nice. Uh, but plenty of cornering grip, braking traction, climbing traction. Everything you really want in a, in an XC slash trail bike. Straight off the bat, I set out, hit, 70, 75 miles of XC riding, commuting to work. And you might be like, this is not a commuting bike, but 100% it'll do it. And uh, I'm lucky enough that my commute takes in the majority of Desert Classic Trail, which is a local XC trail here. And um, it's got everything that you'd want to test an XC style bike. And um, from, you know, loose rocks to 
open plains and high speed sandy corners down into washes and technical climbs out so it's got a bit of everything and i know every uh every line every rock on that trail i've probably done it a hundred times in both directions and um this bike I could tell straight off the bat that it was super efficient and, and fast in the XC sense, uh, or more into the like endurance style riding, uh, a bit more comfortable than an XC race bike. Um, but I could tell straight off the bat that this bike wanted to do more, and um, and basically I took it out onto the west side, hit my favorite descending trails, which are pushing up into the all mountain, probably downhill style trails, um, from Becerra to um, Gila Trail and even West National, which is super chunky, in sections steep, blown out, loose, you name it. Um, I took this bike down it and it blew my mind at how well this bike descends. Um, it's it's yeah it's super stable at high speed it's really playful um i was popping off everything uh having an absolute blast and and i didn't hold back at all west national i just went as hard as i could and i probably reached the limit on the fox 34. Hmm. thoughts after that one uh... A bike that climbs as well as this should not descend as well as this does. This thing rips stable at high speed too. For a short travel bike like this, super stable. I think for the next test, I think West National. Nice long descent. Bit of everything on that one. It should really test this bike out to its limits up into like the all mountain style of riding so I think it'll do it easy but let's go find out all right made our way up to the top of Eliminator basically we're going to jump on National Trail head down the west side it's quite a long um, descent it's got plenty of features on it some steep sections um, some super high speed chunky you name it so it's really going to test this bike out um, I think it's going to do it, you know, reasonably easy. Uh, probably pushing up into the the all mountain realm of riding. Um, for me, if I was going to be doing that style of riding on this bike a lot, I would be getting the enduro build, uh, the Fox 36 and the DPX on the rear, um, and it would just make it just that bit more capable uh, for this the type of riding we're about to do down West National. Um, but as I said, you know, this bike's capable of doing just about anything. It's, it all comes down to how hard you want to be pushing the bike on that terrain. Let's get into some all mountain style stuff. I can really test this bike out. I know it can handle it. It wants more. the rear, pop the rear up and around. Pop 34 is doing good.
the mirror, huh? Taking all the same lines I would on any other bike. side on the 34 but she's so good enough um, if, I, if I say if I'm definitely getting this bike and um, I'll be getting the enduro build on it so it, you know it's a, it can push up into the all mountain style of riding uh, I probably reached the limit on the Fox 34 um, but going to the Fox 36 extra 10 miller travel slacking it a little bit more um, DPX2 shock this thing would be the bike to rule them all if I could only have one this would be the bike for it um, and, and that goes for probably 90% of the riders out there who are looking for a bike that can do it all from all day epics with your friends and the crew um, to all mountain stuff, trail, you name it, this bike will do it. Um, and it's just, it just comes down to the style of riding. Maybe you're more gravity oriented like myself. I'd go with the enduro build. Maybe you're more XC, uh, want something a lot, bit lighter um, and you're gonna be pushing it so hard on the descents then you know the, the 34 and the DPS shock 100% is an awesome package as well. So completely blown away at how this bike rides. And I'm asking myself, is it, is it an XC bike that descends amazing? Or is it a trail bike slash all mountain bike that pedals amazing? I don't know. It's so hard to pigeonhole this bike into one category because it can do it all. And um, you know, the, the original Trail 429 blurred the lines of what was possible. And this one, I think obliterates that into what it's capable of, but I think it's pushing up into um, the aggressive trail riding. I would, I hit trails that I would not ride on my Mark IV SL um, at all on this, and this thing just smashed them. And, um, and probably my favorite thing about this bike is the way it rails corners. Slightly longer, top tube, same short, short chain stays. Um, this thing absolutely rails corners and and um, puts a smile on my face every time it uh, rips around a corner. So, so that's pretty much it for my first impressions of the Pivot Trail 429. Had an amazing week riding this bike. I don't want to give it back and I'll definitely be ordering one. I'll probably get the blue one with the enduro build, I would think. And um, I think this bike's gonna be in high demand, uh, but I'm on, I'm on the list and uh, I just can't wait to have one of my very own. Um, drop a comment below. Let us know what you think of the new Trail 429. Don't forget to, to subscribe. Uh, hit that thumbs up, like button, and I'll see you in the next video.